the icevi the nippon foundation mathematics package for teachers video series abacus as a mathematical tool title of the video abacus multiplication involving one digit fractions principles let us take the example 5 1 by 2 multiplied by 4 2 by 3 Let us now change the first fraction into improper fraction. Here, multiply the whole number of the first fraction five with the denominator of the first fraction two. The multiplied value is ten. Now we have to add the numerator value one with the ten, and therefore the numerator value of the improper fraction becomes eleven. and the denominator is 2 when small numbers are involved the multiplication process is also easy and the multiplied values are easy to remember for reference uh, the child can note this improper fraction either in the left side of the abacus by placing the numerator in the extreme left of the abacus leave a column and uh, set the denominator to its right let us take the second fraction 4 2 by 3 in order to convert this into an improper fraction multiply 4 with 3 which is 12 add the numerator 2 to this which will make the value as 14 and the denominator doesn't change and the improper fraction is 14 by 3 this number can also be placed in the abacus go to the left side of the abacus where we had already placed the first fraction and set the numerator of the second fraction followed by an empty column which is followed by the denominator that is you set 14 the numerator leave a column and set the denominator there we can note that we are still under control as far as the management of columns is concerned we used uh, four columns for the first uh, fraction four columns for the second fraction and there is a column in between and therefore we have used nine columns in the left side of the abacus we still have uh, six columns in the right side of the abacus which is enough for carrying out the multiplication process let us see how to do this we have to multiply the numerators first and the value should be used as dividend we should then multiply the denominators and use that as the divisor in order to get the dividend and divisor we have to do two multiplication processes let us start uh, with the multiplication of the numerators 11 and 14 like the usual multiplication we can treat 11 as the multiplier and 14 as the multiplicand as there are four digits uh, in multiplier and multiplicand uh, put together we have to count four digits add one to the abacus and set the multiplicand 14 in the fifth column from the right side of the abacus if the child is able to multiply 11 by 14 by memory the 154 can be placed in the abacus itself then the two denominators 2 and 3 are multiplied which gives 6 that should be treated as the divisor and kept it at the left extreme of the abacus now the normal division rules apply as the highest digit of the dividend is less than the divisor there is no need to skip the column to the left of the dividend in setting the quotient by going through the division process we get uh, 25 as uh, the quotient uh, and 4 uh, 
as a reminder that means uh, the multiplication of the two fractions is uh, 25 4 by 6 that is 25 4 by 6 that is 25 2 by 3 after applying the cancellation rule let us take up another example and carry out the full multiplication process